Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning, everybody, guys. Let's take a look at the euro currency. So, as we have expected in our weekly report, um, the market behaves quiet at the eve of the Fed meeting, so nobody would like to take the responsibility in trying to forecast what will the Fed will tell about the current situation in the United States. Everybody just waiting what will happen because it's really some intrigue that exists because, uh, as we said, it was relatively positive numbers uh, have been released in the beginning of the year in the first quarter uh, although there are some doubts on the, some numbers uh, so but still it's overall uh, situa situation is positive many investors of course talk about the drop in the durable good orders uh, and other some other indicators that actually uh, has shown the weaker numbers and uh, they tell about that gross domestic product was a bit skewed by the uh, the minor indicators that makes an impact on the overall number but still we have what we have and uh, we need to see the conclusion of the Fed concerning the current situation and market stands quiet in the expect exp uh, on, on, on waiting when this will happen so on the daily chart uh, we said that we will be watching for some pullback because on the mixed data and some quiet action market takes the relief and uh, probably it will turn to some upside bounce and on, on weekend we said that we should keep an eye on this high wave passion because uh, that actually should clarify the further direction uh, a high wave passion is very useful because uh, when the market breaks its extreme point at the top or low usually it falls in the same direction for, for a while and Currently, you can see that yes, the market has moved about the stop, and now it, it stands at the first levels, 112. Uh, two levels that we have suggested that probably could be reached this is 112 and actual 1240. This is confidence resistance. So that's two levels that could be reached on this up or upside um, pullback on the euro currency. On the four hourly time frame, uh, on the hourly chart, trend still stands bearish here, guys, uh, despite this ret retracement. I may see the indicator shows the bear trend and we should treat it just as a pullback here. On the hourly chart we see the ABCD patient that we have talked about in the weekend as well. Also you could recognize here a kind of the hand shoulders shape, something of that sort. So we have this ABC bottom. This OP target stands at 112 even, so it creates the agreement with the first level. Um, and here the market is forming the butterfly cell as well. So butterfly has slightly lower target, so it stands approximately 1195. But mostly we could say that they agree, and they agree it, it went at one point, and butterfly could become the reason for a pullback here. Once OP will be hit, uh, some retracement could start. It will be either minor 30% retracement here, or market could re could reach the confidence support around 1165. That also kind of the neckline and vehicle pivot point. So that will be just the 30% pullback of the whole upward action. It's not really significant action. But some pullback here uh, down from this 112 area probably should happen. And after that we will see what really will happen, how market will behave. Uh, because it's not the fact that market will fall to the XOP definitely. Uh, XOP also creates the agreement for the 1240 daily resistance and also you can see that vehicle pivot uh, resistance one stands at the same area. So uh, currently, as we said, on the daily chart, those who trade on the daily is nothing to do yet because uh, trend stands bearish, market stands in upside retracement, and uh, currently it's no valuable setup, some uh, context that we could use for taking the position. So we need to see when retracement will be over. When we will see some bearish continuation patient, maybe it will be kind of regardless least cheaper to sell here or something of that sort. Those of you who trade on the intraday chart, well, uh, we, we talked about this possible pullback. So if you already have a long position, you could manage to stop. If you would like to take the long position, you could 
just see for strong support there is uh, for, for bullish continuation patterns some, something like guardless cheap or too high maybe will be formed or something of that sort and thinking about taking the scalp long position but uh, personally guys uh, I have no intention to trade your accounts on the long side especially before the Fed meeting it's too mo slow, too few time till the starting of the meeting and oral price action stands lazy uh, very slow so it, it uh, tells that no directional action stands currently on the market this is mostly some technical fluctuations and uh, when you do not have some impulse action it's trading could be tricky especially when you have the major context on the bearish side uh, but that's just my personal view so if you will see something really valuable here why not it definitely could be trade so that being said uh, now we're watching first our trading plan suggest reaching all P it's 112 then minor retracement down so it will be either minus 30 percent or a retracement to the 1165 and depending what will happen here if market will hold above 1165 chance on reaching XOP also will hold but definitely this will happen only on maybe on some Fed statement because it will be really significant action here uh, and that will happen probably tomorrow or even on the 2nd of May. Uh, if market will break it down, then probably it will mean that retracement is over and market is uh, turning lower. So we will see. 